now let us talk about what are the disadvantages of this thing now in disadvantages there are few disadvantages but they are also very solid points jo sabse pehla disadvantage hai iska that is it uh, is a very water intensive process aapko pani chahiye hi chahiye isme uh, because the the nutrients are added into water here and in case you you uh, staying in a very drought prone area ya in countries where uh, let's say jahan pe pani ki kami ho scarcity of water is there you you can't expect to uh, waste so much water in creating all this and the second is uh, the cost of uh, let's say installation or the initial cost of investment in such a setup is huge so let's write the cons there's a huge cost of investment okay and second is it's a very water intensive method that is you're not saving much water here okay jaise there was hydroponics uh, two more methods uh, were developed according like on the similar lines we will talk about them now one was aeroponics and the other was sand culture okay so let's talk about them first uh, now jaise there was hydroponics again we'll break the words aeroponics hydroponics was uh, doing a soilless culture and the medium was water in this case it's a uh, soilless culture but here we are using air or let's say aerosol here now aerosol ka matlab kya hota hai you are uh, using mist jaise uh, whenever we uh, take a bottle of perfume um, and then we spray it to so, a, a gas a, a mixture of gas and uh, liquid comes out in the same way jo uh, this in this aeroponics we are doing the same thing we are using a nutrient medium jo uh, which we are uh, sprinkling ya yeah, just spraying as aerosol on the roots so it it solves a previous problem which we had in hydroponics hydroponics mein problem tha that it was a water intensive process here wo problem jo tha that is solved now okay so here we are using what we are using a mist or aerosol of nutrient medium okay and where is it sprayed it is sprayed extensively on the roots because roots say maximum absorption hota so roots so the roots are sprinkled with uh, aerated because aeration is very important aerated nutrient mist okay uh, now we will talk about um, sand culture sand culture mein as its name implies sand culture mein we are replacing soil with sand so yahan pe the rooting medium is sand
okay the rooting medium is sand here other than this uh, what are the advantages that we are gaining from using a sand culture uh, like in the in hydroponics or in aeroponics you always seem to support the plant because it's hanging in mid air niche either pani hai ya air hai so you have to keep it clumped in this case kyunki sand is a uh, a very dense matrix in comparison to water or air so it it does not need a support base it's already having a support base okay there is a uh, support base is present but there are uh, let's say what are the advantages other advantages is uh, the nutrients could be uh, nutrients can be directly added to the sand yes the nutrients can be very directly added to the sand medium plus jo uh, sand ke pores hote hain the pores are very big naturally so you don't need to do an artificial aeration here okay the aeration is be uh, all so present here but what are the uh, cons of such a technique because everything has a pro and a con so let's talk about the cons the first and the major con here is uh, just sand hota hai it does not hold water very properly so you have to keep uh, adding water lot of times over and over it therefore it is also a water intensive water intensive process ye ho gaya plus to sand hota hai it uh, uh, it changes its temperature very uh, quickly winter mein uh, the temperature of the sand goes very low and in summer it goes very high so ये जो फ्लक्चुएशन ऑफ टेम्परेचर एक्सट्रीम्स में होता है दिस इसके वजह से द प्लांट के टिश्यूज होते हैं दे कैन गेट डैमेज वेरी इजीली सो हाई टेम्परेचर्स एज वेल एज लो टेम्परेचर can cause harm to the plant tissues okay plus iske sath there is another uh, disadvantage of sand as a uh, support medium uh, because sand jo hota hai it's made up of uh, sand ka jo uh, formula is as you may be aware it is silicon dioxide okay so sand is basically alkaline in nature so uh, if if you are requiring a plant to grow in uh, let's say neutral medium ya bit acidic so you have to first treat it with uh, the sand with acids okay so sand being alkaline
has to be treated with acids. Okay, it has to be treated with acids. There was another point that I've missed and the point is uh, in hydroponics. Hydroponics may you can also control the pH. Okay, so um, what is the advantage of controlling the pH, let's say. Uh, so the advantage that you get of controlling pH is that every plant has a different requ pH requirement for proper growth. Like a rose plant require a bit uh, slightly uh, acidic medium. Other plants require a slightly neutral, uh, let's say neutral uh, pH. Some require a bit alkaline medium for growth. So you have to... Uh, see what kind of condition the plant requires for optimum growth or uske according you can uh, change the pH because you are uh, dealing with water so a few uh, drops of acid or uh, a bit a few drops of a base could make it a uh, uh, pH optimum for the plant to grow <clears throat> 